Hello, today we are going to be doing an experiment in FET. And so you go into FET and you find the simulation masses and springs basics. And then when you get to this screen, you're going to click on lab so that we can do an experiment. And here's what that page looks like. I'm gonna move my face here up to the left. And now we look at this page and you guys have already thought about this. And there's a lot of things we can do with this spring to find out about energy. We could measure it with a ruler. We could hang a mass from it, okay? And so we could also make the spring strength different, stronger or less strong, all right? So what we are going to do, what you are going to do is you are going to choose a spring strength and you're gonna leave it there. So you would call this a uh, one spring strength, that'd be two, three, four, five. All right, five if I move it again. So you're gonna label your spring strength and you're just gonna leave it there because we aren't gonna test that, okay? Then you're gonna set up your ruler to find out how much this will stretch. So I've got my ruler set there, it's ready to measure, okay? And I can also go in the upper right-hand corner, I can click on resting position and there's gonna be a green line when um, when I click on resting position that will tell me where it started from. Now, I know my ruler though says zero where this starts. Now I can go ahead and test a mass. So I can go here and I can measure this mass. I can hang it on the spring and now it's bouncing up and down and I can't really measure it. So I can go here and I can stop my spring. I can go to the red stop sign and press that. All right, 100 grams. It looks like it uh well it goes somewhere across here but i really want to see exactly how much stretch there is so i can go to resting position and now i can see how much the green line really came down and that green line came down to about 14. okay and just to test it remember i started at zero i had my ruler here right there and i put my 100 grams on there and i press the stop sign and it goes to right around 14. so you're going to record that in your data table okay you're going to record if you did my spring strength it'd be at four and then you would record 100 grams and 14 okay on this ruler now we have to think about what we're going to call this ruler all right what we're going to say on this ruler and I'm going to say that we are measuring here in millimeters, okay? So you're measuring millimeters on the ruler, okay? Because it looks like that is a centimeter, so it looks like 14 millimeters on the ruler, okay? I'm gonna go back here, put that over there, and I'm gonna increase the mass, okay? So you just have to slide over on this line. You can increase the mass. You can increase it to anything you want. So now it's 140 grams. I put it back on there, I go to the stop sign, I stop it, and now it looks like it's at about 19. So I'm gonna record 140 grams and 19 millimeters. I can take this off again, and I can go here, 190 grams. I can measure again, all right? And so you are going to choose, I can stop it, I can measure, okay? You are going to choose one spring strength. You're only going to choose one spring strength, strength, and then you're going to measure a bunch of the grams that you have uh, on here and how much stretch there is. And that's going to hopefully help us be able to find how much energy is stored in this spring. Okay, so you're going to measure the mass and you're going to measure the length, put them in a cheat chart and then later you're going to graph them.